I was about to cry. <laughs> it was uh, pretty wonderful. That's because Jack McCullough got his freedom back after spending four years in prison for a 1957 cold case murder. It's the murder of an Illinois schoolgirl. Prosecutors now say McCullough did not commit. Good evening, I'm Rob Johnson. Eric is off tonight. 76-year-old McCullough was sentenced to die in prison for the murder of a Sycamore girl. Now Maria Rodolph's family is once again left wondering if they will ever find her killer. CBS 2's Derek Blakely was in Sycamore for today's Twist of Fate. After a two-hour hearing at the DeKalb County Courthouse, Jack McCullough went from a man serving a life sentence to a man with a new lease on life. Coming from an environment of you can't do anything to where you can do anything, I mean, you, 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 you got to know what freedom is. And when McCullough heard these words... This court does believe the defendant has met his burden. The 76-year-old side dropped his head and let pent-up emotions flow. Tell us what went through your head when the judge said that. Um, I was about to cry. <laughs> it was uh, pretty wonderful. Four years ago, McCullough was convicted of the 1957 murder of seven-year-old Maria Ridolph, abducted while playing in the snow. He was sentenced to life in prison, a place, he said, where he wasn't the only innocent man. Then there are people there who have, who have, uh, changed their lives while they've been there and they deserve another shot and um, I just hope that uh, my getting out it gives them hope. Newly discovered records showed McCullough made a collect phone call from downtown Rockford about the same time as Maria's disappearance proving an alibi he'd long held. I'm just happy to be out. Members of Maria Ridolph's family remain convinced McCullough is guilty, but by vacating McCullough's conviction, Ridolph's murder is once again officially a mystery. In Sycamore, Derek Blakely, CBS 2 News. McCullough still must return to court to find out if the DeKalb County prosecutor who pushed to vacate his conviction will now seek a new trial. In the meantime, he's been ordered to not leave Illinois.